extremely cheap strategies that can make you hundreds. If you're running low on currency or just starting out with absolutely nothing, well, good news, I've got something for you. All of these strategies are viable with practically zero investment and can definitely get you rolling. I'll present three different levels of farming with this strategy, with the atlas trees in the description. Now, in most of these strategies, we will have three things that will grant great currency with zero investment, which is maps from bosses, essences, and eater or exarch altars. They are just way too good to skip considering that we are running on a tight budget. Maps and essences really stack up after doing these maps, and altars, they also give you great juice as well, such as exalts, chaos, sextants, or even divines if you're lucky. If you want to skip the altars and take Maven to witness you fighting, well, then you should also do that, but that's under a little bit of high, higher investment. Starting off, we have Harbinger. It's a strategy that's extremely easy to do. Just open the map, click the essences, corrupt meds, meds meaning misery, envy, dread, or scorn, kill harbingers along the way, and the boss at the end. That's it. For the first level, you basically need nothing, just take everything that is on the Atlas tree and run the maps, you'll randomly encounter all these things that are, well, supposed to be encountered. After that, if you want to level this up a little bit, you can take the Harbinger Sextant, which is quite cheap, also the Essence Sextant as well, um, Seventh Gate, and make sure to take Harbinger, that's an extra couple of Chaos that you can add into the map, and also the Harbinger Scarab, whatever you want, it's always an extra couple of Harbingers that have an extra couple of chances to be one of those big king guys. If you want to min-max this a little bit more, Essence Harby Sextant with 7th Gate Harby, Gilded Har Harby Scarab as a minimum, and also boss drops a map and invitation farming. So, you could probably do this on any base of Shaper Guardian maps, Elder Guardian maps, any of those. Just make sure you're running them in a, in a set scenario. Make sure you get those invitations. Make sure you do the invitations after farming or all four of these. You're going to be getting so many different items from this. It's really, really good. Now, the next strategy can be Expedition, Essence, and the boss as well. So, basically, we're changing Harbinger Strat into Expedition now. It's quite easy, all you have to do, run into the map, click once, because we're also going to take the node that allows us to have only one explosion, but it's a one giga nice explosion, and all we need is Expedition Chance on the tree for level one. Once we run into the map, we can see if we have Essences, if we have Expedition, if it's unfortunately not there, well then that's fine, we can just kill the boss anyways, with a chance to drop the map, the maps are nice, quick and easy to do, and we can always just reset these all can go maps. For level 2, we can also take the Essence Sextant, the Gilded Expedition Scarab, and 7th Gate, we would choose Essence, since unfortunately you can't have more than one Expedition in the map. For level 3, we can take the Sextants, which would be plus 1 Remnants, or plus 2 Remnants, I forgot. It's plus Remnants, with Essences, with the Gate, with Gilded Expedition, Boss Drops Map, Invitation Farming, and you can use possibly Elder or Conqueror maps here, due to the fact that uh, our expedition would be laid out a little bit more in a circular matter instead of a very elongated version, which can be possible in shaper maps, especially if it's like, for example, Minotaur map. It's a very linear map, so that expedition needs to spread out in a linear way. So if we have a round circle, which doesn't have a good radius, it's going to limit our profits that we can get from it. Next strategy is going to revolve around Delirium with Alva and Harvest. A lot of people are not farming Alva because of, well, MFs this league, and not a lot of people are also farming Delirium, and a lot of people are using Delirium Orbs. So what we're focusing on here is going to be Delirium Splinters, Delirium Orbs, we're going to be also farming the Locus of Corruption, as well as Doriani's Chamber, hoping for anything like that, and then we can also just sell the temple. Harvest is also incredible to this league because a lot of people need that extra juice for many different things that they need if it's crafting, if it's, well, anything. So, for level 1, we take nothing. All we have is a chance to get a Delirium Mirror on the tree. We have Alva as our mission, and if we do not have any Alva missions, then the only cost for this would be the Alva Sextant. Harvest also has a chance to just randomly be on the map, so if you're starting really low, you can always just start with this. Level 2 is something that I would recommend starting with, which would be the Alva Sextant, Harvest Sextant, so any plant duplicate, but obviously best is going to be yellow. Um, why I say any is the fact that yes, for example, blue plants is going to be the cheapest one, also being a modifier that duplicates all of our life force from the harvest, however it is going to add us a blue crop. Well, so, it's something for something. And also, I would add a Shaper Scarab. Shaper Scarab will add more mobs into our map, which will also apply towards splinters and just overall 
our delirium level uh, that we're going through. Now, for level 3, we're going to take 7th Gate and we're going to take Delirium on it. We're also going to have the Alva Sextant and the Deli Reward Sextant, Plants Duplicate Sextant and the Sacred Grove. So, by having these things, we ensure that we have Delirium, we ensure that we have Alva, we ensure ourselves also that we have the Sacred Grove. So those all uh, com combined together will definitely grant you nice profits every single time you run a single map. Now, as an extra, you can also do this on Shaper maps and Invitations with Maven, also obviously the Shaper Scarab, and optionally, you can also use and swap from Delirium. Uh, instead of taking Delhi Rewards uh, Sextant, uh, you can take Delirium, add it to the map, and on the seventh gate, you can choose Beyond to be rolled on your map device, which will also be quite good. And also on the tree, you can add Quant, Merging Radius, stuff like that, that could be uh, quite good. If you don't want to go that area, you can take the Beyond Sextant, but I wouldn't recommend that because it's way too expensive considering how many MF people are playing right now. Now if your build has good clear speed, I would recommend June missions with Legion and Essence as well. Essences, like I mean, can't go wrong with them, they stack up really nicely and bulk selling them is just absolutely amazing. Now June as well, due to the fact that Aceling is really expensive this leap, and it's really easy to farm her in her research. So, if you don't know how June missions work and overall how the betrayal system works, I highly recommend you uh, multiple videos and I'll have a video linked in the description below that will grant you and help you uh, a lot in understanding the league mechanic. Um, overall, it seems quite complicated, but it's actually quite easy if you just focus on one thing um, that is important to you. Now, for level 1, we don't need nothing. All we have is June missions, and if we don't have any missions, same thing as with Alva, we can just take a June Sextant. And now, for level 2, we would take Legion on the 7th gate, we would take a Gilded Legion Scarab, and also a Legion Sextant. This ensures us that we were going to have 3 Legions per map at a minimum which is absolutely amazing because they can grant us so many rewards, especially with how expensive five-way sets are at the moment. So, for level three, you can take the additional Legion Sextant that duplicates your splinters and fragments, and also the full sets, the uh, emblems, which is an additional, for, for, for the cost of this Sextant, it, it's a must-have in, in, in my eyes. Uh, I duplicated so many emblems while doing this just for a casual 3-4 maps, which is great. Maybe I've gotten lucky, maybe not, it's just really incredible in my opinion. Um, now the next thing is, uh, why is this sextant so good? Is because every single time a splinter drops, it has a chance to change into a emblem due to our node on the Atlas tree. Now. If we duplicate the amount of splinters drop, that kind of duplicates our chance also into dropping an emblem. Now, if it does change into an emblem, it is ensured that that emblem will be duplicated as well. So, it's just a really good sextant to take while farming Legion, ensuring that we are going to get so many more splinters and emblems on this map that will obviously always stack up the more maps we do. Now. We also take uh, everything that we had before, which is Legion on the 7th gate, Gildan Legion at least, as well as the Legion Sextant, and besides that, we don't have really anything else to take, maybe just the Essence Sextant as well if you really want a additional Essence. That's going to be it! Those four strategies can really grant you so much currency, because I've personally done these, and they were amazing, they were fun, they were something different compared to what I was farming earlier before, and overall, I feel like you can also make a lot of bank on all of these, and they're just fun, they're different. I don't know what the diff per hour is, I don't know what it was, I just know it was fun, and I was farming what I wanted to farm. Remember, when we're playing this game, we're focusing on what's fun, we're supposed to be entertained, and this is what's most important. Let's not really focus on min-maxing absolutely everything. For me, personally, it's just something that drains me. So for those of you that don't treat Path of Exile as a second job, still want to make some good currency and farm some cool strategies that are fun, then I really recommend these four. And well, that's pretty much it for the video. So once you try them, make sure to leave a comment below saying which one was your favorite. And let's see overall after some time, which one was chosen as your favorite. So thank you so much for watching and I really hope you have a good day and good luck farming exiles.